What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the divorce that has a lot of fans shook, especially when more and more documents are being presented to court. Obviously from the title, we're going to be talking about the divorce between Dell and Sonya Curry. Yes, if you haven't guessed it by now, these two are NBA superstar and Hall of Famer Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors, and lesser known, I mean, I guess we could throw him in the mix, Seth Curry, who's now playing for the 76ers. This story is such a huge surprise to most people because from the outside looking in, Sonia and Dell look like a traditional family-oriented Christian family. They were married for 33 years, which definitely makes this one of the longest relationships in the media. They would oftentimes be seen kicking it at both Steph and Seth's game, supporting their sons by rocking their jerseys. The two parents showed their support even when the two sons played against each other in the playoffs. But as we all know by now, not every relationship that seems too good to be true is. It's almost like the more perfect a family or a couple looks from the outside looking in, especially when the family is in the forefront of media eyes and fans, the more secrets, the more lies and chaos is going on at home outside of the view of the public. So now that you have some background on who Sonia and Del Curry are, if you had no idea who they are, let's jump into the story. So according to TMZ, Del accuses Sonia of carrying on an extramarital affair for years with a man named Steven Johnson. This guy was a Virginia Tech athlete in the mid 80s. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or not, but I wonder if Sonia chose Steph's name because something in the back of my mind makes me wonder, did she name Stefan after Steven? This is just a wild conspiracy, but let me know what you guys think. Anyways, in the divorce docs, Dell claims Sonia has been living with Johnson in Tennessee, but Sonia denied this and responded that she has been living alone because Dell has not allowed her to live at home. But my question for her is why wouldn't Dell allow you to live at home? You having an extramarital affair and him finding out would definitely be a solid reason for him not wanting you to live at home with him. Sonia admits that she's currently in a dating relationship, but is adamant that the relationship began after the couple couple legally separated in March of 2020. Sonia also accuses Dell, who had a 16 year career that ended in 2002, of frequent infidelity throughout their marriage. Here's where things get really interesting. Dell and Sonia met in college at Virginia Tech. Dell was making his name on the basketball court and Sonia was a volleyball player. The alleged lover of Sonia, Steven Johnson, was catching passes for the Hokies, racking up a total of 1,058 yards and eight touchdowns in three seasons. Still ranking in third in school history among tight ends in both categories. So this guy Steven was one of the best athletes at the school back in the 80s. Speaking from experience and being a student athlete myself, all of the athletes pretty much know each other around campus, especially if you're one of the best. So I can almost guarantee Sonia knew who this Steven guy was back in the 80s in college. Johnson graduated in 1988, two years after Dell. The Patriots drafted Johnson in the sixth round of the 1988 NFL draft, and he played one season in the league. Currently, Johnson is president of one of the largest commercial developers in the southeastern United United States, Johnson Commercial Development. The Currys were not alone in their decision to separate after a long marriage. We've seen Bill and Melinda French Gates and Jeff Bezos and Mackenzie Scott. They're all part of a growing American trend of quote unquote gray divorce, which is the terminology of divorce after the age of 50. At a time when divorce is becoming less common for younger adults, the divorce rate among US adults 50 and older roughly doubled between 1990 and 2015. This is according to Pew Research data. Research published in the journals of gerontology also found Found that more than one in four people who divorce in this country are over 50. That statistic is driven in part by the number of older adults in second or third marriages. Remarriages have a higher risk of divorce than first marriages as well. In addition to this trend, there's been a societal shift as well. A study published in the Journal of Family in 2020 found that the baby boomer generation is now more accepting of divorce than people were in the 1960s. More than two thirds of adults over 50 agree that divorce is the best solution for couples who can't work out their differences. With more money and financial independence for men, women are divorcing men at a much higher and faster rate than ever before. Unfortunately, instead of working things out, the majority of women would rather divorce, get alimony and child support, and then retest the market after their wealthy husbands position them financially for all those years. So now that we see there's a trend in gray divorce, this is what I think happened in this situation with Dell and Sonia. This is all hypothetical and is not necessarily true, but here's what I think. Dell and 
Sonia are at Virginia Tech together and Dell stands out to Sonia because of his athletic talent and she sees him as the best catch her looks can get her at the time. This is what we call hypergamy. So Sonia and Dell date the first two years. Freshman stud Steven Johnson enters campus and catches her attention. She then cheats on Dell with Steven but realizing a basketball player makes more money and has a longer career after her affair she stays with Dell. Dell gets drafted and has a long successful NBA career. Steven plays out one season in the NFL and then starts his own business empire. During this period Sonia and Steven are still in contact and probably still hooking up when Dell is out of town. Now that Dell's NBA career is finished and the NBA checks just ain't hitting the account like they used to, Sonia's head remains on a swivel looking for another provider that can sponsor her lifestyle. And whose business is thriving and continuing to grow? Her old side piece, Steven Johnson. With Johnson on her radar, she tests Dell to see if he has any alpha in him. Dell fails her tests and she starts disrespecting him more and more to the point where Sonia is careless with her infidelity. Dell finds out about Sonia cheating and kicks her out of the house. Sonia then moves in with her side dude and says the relationship ended a long time before she moved in because she rationalizes in her mind that the relationship did end a long time ago because of the way Dell failed her tests. And because Dell exposed Sonia for cheating and won't take her back, she files for divorce and claims he cheated on her. Those events once again are all hypothetical and as more details emerge from court we'll be able to see the truth behind everything but for now we'll have to be patient. Steph if you're watching this please be aware that this is your future. Aisha has disrespected you multiple times on camera and she's continuing to use your money to accessorize herself before someone else comes along which will most likely happen once you're done playing basketball like your father. Hopefully this doesn't happen but Aisha has definitely shown signs of a married woman in need of more male attention than just Steph's. It's sad to see how divorce rates continue to rise, more women filing for divorce than ever after cheating, and it's even more sad seeing guys get married to women that view them as paychecks and nothing more and are willing to cash out once that man is done with his career. I wish the Curry family the best as they go through this divorce and hope those of you that are watching can learn from this story. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Have a blessed rest of your day.